I just borrowed my brother's hat? He's probably gonna kill me. Hello. Welcome to Culture Journey. I'm Kinsey and I'm here to spread love and knowledge to you wonderful people all over the world. Today we are going to be talking about an amazing historic site of Texas. The great state of Texas. <gasps> Wait one second, I think I'm missing something. Ta-da! I just borrowed my brother's hat. He's probably gonna kill me, but how do I look? Okay, so now we're ready to learn all about the Alamo, okay? So I'm going to read to you this wonderful story. Alamo. The Alamo was owned by five different countries and served as their garrison. Before it was a fortress, the Alamo served as a religious outpost for the Spanish Empire. At that time, it was called Mission San Antonio de Velero. In, in 1798, the Catholic Church surrendered control of Mission Velero. Then it became known as Pueblo Velero. Since it was so a self-governing community soon threats from america and french louisiana came and the spanish army converted valero into a fortress called the alamo company for the next few years there were many many wars some with france and some with spain for mexican independence in 1836 the battle of the alamo happened as a part of the texas revolution Tejas was a Mexican state that many Americans had settled for a long time. Texans didn't mind being ruled by Mexico. That is, until Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana was elected. Texas sought independence. Many wars were fought for this, one of which being the Battle of the Alamo, which was a 13-day siege and then a 90 minute battle that all the Texan defenders lost their lives in. But other Texans adopted the motto, remember the Alamo, and eventually Texas gained independence. Later on, the Alamo was also used in the American Civil War. Eventually, San Antonio was able to grow and the Alamo became a historic site. The end. I just love that story. I hope you do too. I think it's so important to learn about history. That's why I made this video. But it's also because I just went to the Alamo and it was so cool. I also like, I just loved going to San Antonio because there was so much like Mexican influence. Because you know, it was a part of Mexico and then like a lot of Mexicans have moved here. So it's just really cool to like experience that. And I love, it's a beautiful blend of cultures. And you know how much I love Mexico, okay? Y'all, even though we won the war, that doesn't mean I don't love y'all. Yeah, wars are a messy thing, but it's it's good to get over them. Don't, don't dwell on it, okay? And now I am going to show you some of the awesome pictures from my trip.
great and honestly there was even more like cultures blended there like a lot of Arabs and Indians and Chinese Asians I don't know it was just so much fun to me to be like surrounded by all of that so yes and I hope this video just like helped you learn a lot if so give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will be making more videos soon so yes I can't wait to see you then bye yes I will return my brother's hat